Hi, it's Beth from the Speech and Language Garden here. If you're a TA, um, learning support assistant, spe uh, specialist uh, support assistant, and you've been asked to do some interventions online for some of the children that you would normally be working with in class, I've got an activity for you that is low prep, practically no prep. Um, it's the I Went Shopping game. It's a classic. Um, I use this game <laughs> with lots of different targets. So I use it for children who've got memory difficulties, vocabulary difficulties, speech down difficulties, or a combination of all of the three of those. You know the game, I went shopping and I bought an apple and then the next person has to say, I went shopping, I bought an apple and then add one on. So the way that you can do it from memory is just play the game straight. I went shopping and you buy the apples, you buy the bananas, you buy the carrots. Um, I find it easier to differentiate for children if we go down the alphabet or if we buy one apple, two bananas, three carrots. Um, you don't have to go shopping, you can go if the child likes football players, for example, you can say, I went to watch the football or I watched the football on the telly and I watched player A and <laughs> I watched player B. So you can use those examples. Other motivating factors for children, um, you can use things that you can see in their house behind them. So I went to your living room and I saw and you can name some items and help them to um, name the items too. For children who've got vocabulary difficulties, you can really tie this into the class topic. For example, if you're working uh, on Egyptians, you can say, I, <laughs> I went to ancient Egypt and I saw a pharaoh. And the next person has to say, I went shopping and I went to ancient Egypt and I saw a pharaoh and a pyramid. Okay, so you might need to pre-teach the vocabulary or you can use this as a pre-teaching activity. With regards to speech sounds, one of my favourites, I use this alongside a feely bag. Um, particularly for my preschoolers, if I'm working with three or four year olds and we're working on the k sound, for example. I'll have a bag full of stuff that begins with a k sound. So in my bag, I can see a cork, a carrot, okay, uh, some cake, a can, a colouring pencil. So there's lots of um, lots of different ways you can tweak the one really basic game for what you need to do. And you can do that over a screen really easily. So hopefully this helps you. Um, give me a shout if you've done this with some of your children. Another thing I was going to say, actually, while I'm still on the video, is that you can still record this using your intervention record sheet. Um, it's available in the back of the ebooks. Um, so, in the back of um, all of my ebooks, you can have the um, vocabulary and the memory ebooks, which are available on my website. And actually, the I Went Shopping game is in both of those books, <laughs> differentiated to show how you can use the activity um, to target memory difficulties or vocabulary difficulties. Um, you also got the intervention record sheet just available as a free download on my freebies page for you. You don't even have to print it off. You can actually just type in the interventions you've done if you're needing to use it as an ongoing record um, to keep online for the children that you're working with. Um, if you really want to set homework for the parents and send that sheet to and send some of the activities that you can get from the ebooks. If you're a teacher or a Senko and you, you're watching this and you think this is quite interesting, those um, activities, the you know, shopping activities, I have as um, some demonstration activities that I do with both of, one, or one or both of my children um, in the courses that I have available on my website as well. So the um, I Went Shopping game is perfect for auditory memory difficulties and for targeting um, vocabulary difficulties. So those are on my, on my two courses available online. And when you do an online course, you can do it whenever you like and you can do it at your own pace and you can revisit the course as much as you like. So hopefully this has given you some ideas and go, oh my goodness, I've got to do interventions. What can I do? Well, here's one for you and it's really, really low prep. Uh, let me know if you have any more questions or queries and um, good luck. <laughs> Enjoy the rest of the week. Bye.